Gun fam, what's up? It's the Gun Brother. Thanks for tuning in. And today's episode is stage breakdown for the ice course. First stage, bent elbow. Let's go. All right, so first off, what is the bent elbow? Bent elbow goes by many names. Bent elbow, bent arm. Uh, it's also called shooting from weapon retention. Tactically, somebody's close to you, threat immediately presents itself. Uh, you only have time to get the pistol out of the holster and onto the target, not necessarily all the way aimed in. So that's what the bent elbow is for. I have to preclude this with, this is not a video about tactical shooting or defensive shooting. This is the bent elbow for qualification. And there is a difference between qualification shooting, real life shooting, actual shooting, unfortunately. Um, but that's a whole nother video. Problems with the bent elbow. The most common cause, or wait, the most common problem with the bent elbow is a lot of people have malfunctions that are caused at the bent elbow. What they don't realize is those malfunctions are usually shooter induced. It is not the firearm. I have watched hundreds and hundreds of officers continually get malfunctions at the bent elbow stage of the, uh, of the qualification, continually look at the gun like it's the gun's fault, and then not have a malfunction for the rest of the qualification. But having those malfunctions at the bent elbow usually is shooter induced. However, there are a lot of different causes of, of having that malfunction that shooters do. Probably the most common, okay, is people when they, they know it's a fast drill. So the drill for the bent elbow is one round, then two rounds, then three rounds. Each iteration is two seconds. So they know they have to get out of the holster fast, which is a key to the bent elbow, which is a key to any shoot situation, is your draw needs to be fast. You need to be able to deploy your firearm quickly. So that's number one. Once they get out, they tend to shoot while they're still moving. They haven't established a position yet. That will can induce a malfunction to the firearm or introduce a malfunction to the firearm. Some shooters will draw and put the gun on close to themselves to be centered with the target. What happens then is the slide hits their vest and that causes a malfunction. Then another one, again, grip induced, is the person just has some sort of bend or crook in their wrist that is not supporting the firearm, okay? And that is where the solution comes in. So you have to do a minimum of three things, no matter what, when you're firing a semi-automatic firearm. Number one, you have to provide a stable platform for that firearm to cycle. In other words, when the gun shoots, the slide is going to come back and the spring is going to make it snap forward. And that is so it can eject the spent casing, go forward and grab the new ramp. That all works together, but if, it, if there's nothing to support it, it can't do that. So you've heard instructors call, say, oh, you're limp wristing it, stop limp wristing it, things like that. That's what's causing that malfunction. The gun is trying to cycle into your hand, but your hand is moving with the gun which takes away from the inertia of the slide and keeps it from doing the job that it has to do. Number two, you also have to aim the gun at the target. And then number three, you have to press the trigger without moving the gun, okay? And those are the three major mistakes I see being made on the line when officers have these malfunctions at the bent elbow. So, we got what it is, we got some problems, we got the causes, now, Let's fix it all. First issue many people have is definitely the grip. People draw the firearm. Because this is a fast drill, you have to get out of the holster fast and then onto the target fast and then deliver the rounds quickly. So when people draw their firearms, a lot of times they don't establish the grip and their hand will not be all the way up on the back strap. So when they fire the firearm, firearm needs something to recoil against and it's not there, that will induce a malfunction into the firearm. So above everything, you have to establish your grip in the holster. You do not have time to readjust it when you get on the target, and if you do not readjust it, you will not be supplying that stable position for the gun to recoil against, and that will cause a malfunction. So, with the gun in the holster, as soon as you break the weapon retention, whatever it is, and I'm just using this Uncle Mike's, as soon as you break the weapon retention, 
that is when you establish your grip in the holster. And I'm doing it this way um, because a lot of officers have been told, oh, you need to fix your grip, fix your grip, fix your grip. And what they do is hold the gun tight. But if you're not holding the gun in the right place, you're not providing a platform for the gun to recoil against, okay? So this is the problem that I find that people go to grab the gun because it's such a fast drill and they grab it too low. You have to remember, you have to practice this. This is essential to your draw and I'll do the, a draw video uh, later on, but this is an Uncle Mike's single retention holster. As soon as you break the weapon retention, your hand needs to go here top of the back strap. That is, that is what's meant by establishing your grip inside the holster. That way, once you go to draw, your grip's already established. You don't have to make an adjustment. You don't have to do anything. So to fire with one hand from this position, your grip is established. That is the number one cause of the malfunctions that I see at the bent elbow. Grabbing the gun here, it's in the holster. They just grab it, pull it out, and start shooting. And then from here, that space does not provide that stable platform for the gun to, uh, to recoil against, and that will induce a malfunction. So that is the main thing, establishing your grip in the holster before you pull the gun out of the holster, okay? So one more time, as soon as you break, the, your hand should be open as you go back to break the weapon retention, break, and your hand falls right there in the back strap, draw. And then that way, your grip is already established. You go to the bent elbow, and then you can execute your shots. Okay, a couple of things about when you're shooting from the bent elbow. Number one, the main thing is you are only a yard and a half away. It's three feet plus, a little over three feet. So you're very close to the target. So you're not, it's not a situation where you have to aim in, you have to sight in or anything like that. So to fix these problems of moving while you're shooting, things like that, first thing you have to do is as soon as you clear the holster, you need to get to the bent elbow position, okay? What I mean by that is, as soon as the gun is out of the holster, break, as soon as you break the holster, boom. Before you start shooting, you should be here. And this is where a lot of people go wrong. Sometimes they come out the holster, they start shooting early. Boom, boom, boom. Two rounds not even on the target, okay? Some people shoot, get here and they go boom, 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 and they're, they're not still. So that also induces the uh, malfunction in the firearm, okay? So whether you're going off a whistle or a turning target, whatever your response is, it's back, draw, and get there, then fire, okay? Um, obviously, if you're aiming in on the target, your finger can go straight to the trigger. You don't have to go to the, to the frame, okay? So again, as soon as you see whatever it is that's supposed to be your response, you see the threat or hear the whistle, back, boom, 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 okay? Stay still. Your hand shouldn't be moving. You shouldn't be on the way to the target. Once you get here, you don't have to do anything else to shoot. It's just boom, 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 okay? When, of course, on a three round iteration, okay? One more time, it's just draw and get to the position and then fire, okay? You want that draw to be as quick as possible so that you have plenty of time to get the rounds off. Get to the position, then shoot. Not bang, bang, shoot on the way, okay? Or move after you get there. All right, so here we go, quick demo. Just coming out of the holster, getting to the position, bent elbow. Now remember, on our ice target, all of this is five. So if we come out and we're here, that's where we wanna shoot. Five points each round, right? I'm gonna go ahead and just do the three round iteration of the, the uh, qual, okay? So here we go. Three rounds. Part time is two seconds for the ice course on the bent elbow. With you, that was a 2.1. All right, here we go. One nine eight. 
There we go. All right, so three quick, three quick tries, okay? But that's how you wanna get out of the holster. This is the Uncle Mike's number 21, which is probably the slowest holster in the world to get out of, which is the old thumb brake. Um, but as you can see, it's still possible. Don't let your equipment hold you back. Be as good as you can with your equipment. But drawing, we'll cover that in another video, but that is the key. Quick draw, getting out of your holster, getting on the target, getting to your spot, then shoot, okay? And then, as everybody always wants to see, okay, so I'm gonna three times, which is nine rounds. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, okay? So, all in the fives, getting into that place, and then stop. So if you guys have any tips or tricks that you use to uh, help you at the bent elbow, please put them in the comments below. If you have any questions, put them in the comments below. Uh, my way is not the highway. There are a million ways to do this uh, and be accurate and be fast and not have malfunctions. This is just the easiest way that I train, that I found to train it to people and even beginners and help them get on target. So with that being said, the Gun Brothers out. I will talk to you guys soon.